Go, go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Man, y'all tuning in to Get Hip TV. As y'all can see from the title, we got Wack react to Crip Mac federal prison sentence. So, man, we're going to get into that, and I'm going to let y'all hear what Wack had to say. So, man, stay tuned for that. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So, man, if y'all not hip, Crip Mac was sentenced to 33 months in federal prison, which is a win considering he was rumored to be facing 15 years. So this is exciting news to his fans and people closest to him. But Wack 100 scratched his head and wondered how he only got 33 months for having a ghost gun when he already had two prior firearm convictions. So Wack decided to reach out to someone who has done a lot of fed time and has experience going over people paperwork. So man, I'ma roll the audio and I'ma let y'all hear it. And y'all let me know y'all thoughts on it down in the comments below. All right, who got audio? Bang here. I got it. Yo, hold on, let me see. Let me hold over to the the big bang theory now this guy right here lavish in here <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. this is a guy that his job was to read paperwork he did 262 months that was his job he was one of the niggas when you hit that line he was one of the niggas that went through the paperwork so I called him told him do you want to come on the app or do you going to let me record you? What you going to ask me? So I went over it with him, and uh, he broke it down. And this is exclusive. I call him the paperwork reader on the federal side, because I've never been to the feds. And um, his language kind of lined up with yours. He said, it's a chart. They don't give a f about none of that. Mandatory minimum, mandatory minimum. He broke down the chart. He said that nigga go. He said the best case in that is uh, let me see what he told me. Lavish, because this might about be sixty months. No, the best case. He said your best case is your offense level is a twenty on a nigga that never been in jail, never had nothing. But that ain't him. He said this nigga that had prior cases, so he gonna fall in the offense level. He said somewhere between. 24 at the minimum on up and that's a 60 month 51 month minimum right and he gonna go on up based upon the other cases he didn't have right and I remember Adam reading off the niggas priors probably a couple weeks ago at one of them interviews right he had two prior gun cases two cases some other so I, I asked him I said yo I asked him, you know, when he hit the yard and and how it was going to go. And he said, oh, no, it's a million niggas there with the same. As soon as a nigga say the wrong number out of his mouth, that's just what it is on. But we're going to let Bang play the content. All right, y'all. We got an exclusive conversation from Wack 100 and the, the paperwork man on the federal side. Only on the honey side. Ping up and shut up room. All right, listen. I got my guy. I call him the paperwork for penitentiary. He did a lot of time. That's what the f he did. So, today I saw on the blogs, Crip Mac <clears throat> got 33 months. Now, I do know he had two prior convictions. That means those serial numbers, all that shit. Now, you've been lacing me on the federal how it works. I got the mandatory minimum charge. I'm looking at this shit, and it's not adding up. But I haven't been to the Fed, so I'm doubling back, coming back to my paperwork beater from the federal penitentiary. I know you did a whole lot of time. I forgot what it was, 20, 25. I know you did a lot of time. 262 months. 262 months. Okay, now. Two prior convictions. And now you have, you get caught with a ghost. You're a gang member. You might have another little robbery there, but let's just X all that out. You got two prior convictions, and now you're caught with a ghost, and they give you 33 months. What about that adds up or don't add up? That ain't adding up. Not under the 922G shit. If you get a mandatory minimum, right? It's five years, right? 
Okay. So if got bullets, if he excelling or any part of that kind of shit, if it got bullets, those are separate sentences based on the bullets alone. He going he got two, man, he going to get anywhere, he going to get about a dime for show if they don't, the bullets That's and all that. He just got I regular saw. shit, he going to get about a dime. Even if he ain't that's, been in no shit or none of that. That's what I thought. And that's now. like having no criminal history or none of that shit. You're going to get 15 has, years. You're going to get 15 if he had a, 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 a conviction before under the Armed Career Criminal Act. He definitely that's had. That's Okay, so now I've been hearing rumors, and I don't know how this shit works, that they were going to try to use the you no know, the, the 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 crazy card now, i know we use that in la county it, it get niggas a little bit but not a lot does that factor in playing crazy when you got caught with a goat you got two other prior convictions that the crazy wasn't man crazy he would be wasn't. he would be in the mother crazy hospital in the feds they got a place for you. You don't be on the line no more. Where they got a whole prison for your ass. Oh, for the so crazy man, man. That wouldn't affect the time. No, nah, because he'd be over there with their ass with a different time. He wouldn't be on no line nowhere. He wouldn't be in no line park terminal out and no shit like that. All right, so listen. Your main hospital. I'm about to go on back to Clubhouse. And I'm going to tell the people I call my guy. I call him the paperwork reader because it's a federal penitentiary. Every yard he hit, that's what his, that's what one of his jobs. So, man, hey. your main thing, if he an armed career criminal, if he faced any of that sentencing enhancement, you can get anywhere from fifteen to life, depending on the specifics of that shit. That's with the with the uh, with the bullets and all that shit. But the thirty three months. That is just not that ain't that. That ain't that enough at all. Even when you look at just look at the guidelines, that that shit ain't gonna add up just in category one. Oh, I got my man. He sent me the guidelines. He sent them to me, and I was like, it's federal sentencing guidelines, burn him and some other mother. All right, so you say category, it says offense level, zone A, zone B, zone C, zone D. Then it has category one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that the sense table you're talking about? Yeah, so I'm going to break it down for you. So when you see offense level, uh-huh. They have base offense levels for certain crimes, right? Okay. So, so for a gun, like so for a gun, the base offense level would be something like twenty six. Yeah. That's so a in category B. one. Category one, I think level twenty or something, you're gonna get thirty three months on the low end. The nigga got yeah, any like kind of 20, prior, yeah, 32 to 41. Any prior convictions, you going up to, to the 46, the 51, and so on and so forth. And then you're going to get the ACA, the Armed Career Criminal Act. Then that come into play after they settle that. Once they settle this section, and then they go down further for the calculations to determine the yeah, criminal so history, the defense and range. Out of 20, you saying that's a nigga ain't got nothing. That's ain't that got no, that nigga ain't never been to jail before. Yeah, so. I'm talking about not, the, never, nothing. The, the, Zero the criminal you history. Said 24 is 51 and 63. 25 is 57 and 71. 26 is 63 to 78. So when you say. So look, let's put it like this too, Wack. So uh, you know. The mandatory minimum for the sixty months. See what I'm saying? Five years. That's where yeah, it's a right. problem. That's where the problem at. Because the mandatory minimum is sixty months. And he got thirty three. And he got thirty three. And that's and below the problem. guy. That's below the mandatory minimum. 
And in your, in your, uh, you know, your knowledge of, of dealing with this shit, because you get a lot of fair time, and you was a paperwork reader. I know reading paperwork, you had to be real versed on what the was or what, so you know what you was looking at. If if you get beneath that mandatory minimum, then it's what what what, what are the things? Only way you could do that is a safety valve or cooperation. Period. Safety valve is for a nigga that ain't never been in trouble and going to college and got some shit going on for us. They give, give you a safety valve. They give you a safety valve. You must, and we're gonna put you on all these other things, but you better be doing what you're supposed to be doing. Now watch this. When they tried to give him, get him like a bail or get him out when he first went to the feds, they told him because he was a known gang member, they wasn't doing none of that. That ain't got nothing to do with the feds. The feds don't give a fuck that, man. They don't oh. care about that, man. They got gang up every part of the world in that motherfucker. Taliban and all kind of shit. They don't care about none of that shit. I'm telling you, nigga, they ain't got my business Nigga, they don't care about none of that shit. <laughs> so this thing, this 33 but yeah, okay. All right, well, let me run this old back. Cause this, this shit right here, I said, you know what? I've done a lot of state time. But when I speak, I speak from your education and these charts. I said, let me call the homie. And go over this shit because this that thirty three months with that ghost. Now, bro, a ghost, a switch, and a silencer. How are they mm-hmm. handling those? Are they all handling them oh, the same? Let me check something out. The ghost, no serial numbers, no ballistics, no nothing. That ain't even getting caught with a regular. Damn that shit. Under nine twenty two P. That statute prohibits the manufacturing and sales of it. A nigga get, you gonna get a five to 10 just on that shit alone. And that ain't that got nothing to do right with right after the right. Man, Look, it says, no, nah, cause with that, all right, so say, okay, you say it's five to 10 years on the mandatory minimum or more. And then you got the enhancements for the armed career criminals which imposes a mandatory minimum of 15 years. I read that. Somebody yeah, and then you got the silencer. Then the silence is a whole nother ball game. Silence is getting charged all, of, all by itself under a statute called National Firearms Act. That's a whole nother thing. NSA. I, my man sent me something that said with some red writing. Possession of a firearm or ammunition by a prohibited person, 18 U.S.C. 922 G and N, punishable by up to 10 years imprisonment, may receive minimum sentence of 15 years without parole if offender has three or more prior convictions for felony crime, violence, burglary, robbery, assault, possession of uh, offensive weapons, and/or drug trafficking felony. Then they got elements, and then they got some uh, other shit down here. So what you saying is lining up with this, that 33 months is just not making sense. So what happens, bro, when somebody like that hits the yard and they see your offense go or whatever, and they see 33 months? What, what it's, a million niggas, it's a million niggas already there with the charge. So when he say how much time he got, it's auto. Like, hold on, nigga, how do you get that? And now he get to talking. Hey, he might not even make it to me. He might not even make it for no paperwork to get seen. Because there's too many niggas already with those charges and with that time. Because you see, this, gotcha. shit is, this, shit is, this shit is on a grid. Ain't no negotiating. Ain't no mother... Lawyer ain't none of that shit. You either tell you, period. Ain't no none of that other shit. Ain't none of that other shit. Ain't none of that shit. Yeah, ain't no mother. David Dudley, them niggas. You know what them people told them, Will? About none of that? They on some grids. What y'all gonna do? They base defense level is this. Their criminal history is this. They they right here. How, what you, how you gonna beat that? 
I got another something I want to ask you that's totally different from this. When people got their record expunged on the state level, well, for if they say they never been to the Fed, they had did went to the pen, they didn't got their record expunged, right? Mm-hmm. What happens if they was to go to the feds and come back to jail and go to the feds? Or will the feds go dig that up or is it just like you could No, nah, it's like a fun. It's gone. It's a gotcha. fun. All right. So, all right. Well, well um, to my other counterpart on the phone, I'm not going to say your name. I got to put you with my attorneys because my shit is expunged. We got to get you done too. <laughs> hey, look. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. I'm finna go talk to these people and let them hear this shit. And uh, because uh, I said, bro, it don't sound right. I've been taught. I got a few cats on the floor that have been to the feds. They saying the same shit you said. I said, but let me go ahead on and, and get some confirmation. And this shit is what it is. Like you always said, you said, why? This shit is what it is. Nigga, like, ain't no mother. Yeah. Go shit. <laughs> <laughs> they don't play around that shit. <laughs> Appreciate your time, dog. All right, my nigga. I mean, maybe they won't blame me. I just asked the question. Niggas a rat. Damn this. I know it. Only on the honey side. She get real tricky. So he said cooperation or something else. So he cooperated. The nigga yeah, see, when you, go, when you dealing with the feds, it ain't like the state. You go in and negotiate this. No. This your shit. This your category. You start here. I'm looking at the, the, the chart. When they say minimum, mandatory minimum, if your shit say 51 to 80 months, that means you can't get no less than the 51. It's at the judge's discretion if he want to give you 70, 80, anything in between. But you can't get no less than the mandatory minimum of 51 months unless you cooperate. All right, man. So as y'all heard from that, that's what WAC 100 had to say about Crip Max sentence. I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions of it. So let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. And if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. Till next time, we out.